Shopping can be one of the biggest factors affecting your budget. But it's not wrong to spend as long as you don't go overboard from your budget, which a lot of times happens to a lot of young people. And today I'm gonna to give you some tips to have guilt-free shopping experience. My name is Manif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started making videos to share my life experiences so that I can teach others to become more successful in life and in business. If you like the type of content I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, share it with people who might find this video useful. Do you have a difficult time keeping your wallet in your pocket when you're shopping or your phone for that matter? Try to be mindful of what you buy. Remember that you're going against marketers and advertisers who have really studied how to lure you in. Same type of thing that happens with social media. People know how to get your attention. And the way they set up their shops is to entice you. And oftentimes you would see signs that would say sale. And if you think you could save money with those discounts, think again. Buy one, get one free. Or discount sales or free shipping discounts or pay later. All of these things are going to go ahead and put you in that mode of shopping and buying right now. And all of these traps from companies are there to capture attention, to make you buy, and think about it. You're not saving money even during a sale. You're spending it. You're still spending money. So first and foremost, be wary of strategies that promote sale. The more you know about them, the better prepared you are and least likely you're gonna fall into being a victim of their traps. Now, it isn't conspiracy theory or anything, but it really is the way marketers produce products and advertising that lures us in. And when was the last time that you bought something that you necessarily didn't need because of a flashy ad or an Instagram ad or you know a Facebook ad or what you were watching on TV? And once you remember what you bought, now I want you to kind of figure out the traps that may have caused you to buy either prematurely or buy something you didn't need at all. This way, the next time you see it, you won't fall victim or fall for that trap anymore. Have you ever really been hungry or craving for something or started craving for something after you watched an ad? It's all of those things working all the time and we're always bombarded by advertisements. So the more aware you are, the better it is. Just by acknowledging the fact that you have fallen for those traps before, you won't be tempted again when you see another marketing trap. Remember your most important goals before you make any purchase and ask yourself, is this person is getting me closer or further from my financial goals. An easy way to avoid overspending is by bringing cash instead of using plastic. Cash reminds you that you have limited amount of money and resources. And when you actually hand out money to a person, you have that feeling of losing something and in the back of your mind, you're already calculating how much money you have left in your wallet. Cards are great and they're always easy to use since you only need to swipe away. But that also causes you to spend a little bit more because you're not really looking at it physical money. You just keep going. The cards make you feel that the buying experience is super easy and that you have unlimited amounts at your disposal. You've probably had that awesome feeling whenever you swipe it, but you have to realize it's really not unlimited. People tend to overspend when they use a card in the first place. And I'm all about being in good debt and using credit cards to your advantage, but this is not one of them. To combat the love of plastic, try the cash only challenge. And with this, you'll be able to buy only the necessities since you only have a limited amount. If you need to buy something expensive, but necessary, use your card. But for the most wants and needs, use your cash. I know that using cards could be convenient, especially with the pandemic stuff still around. But if you're having problems with your expenses, it's always best to use cash. This will help you Prevent overspending and having that limited amount of money will also give you the ability to prioritize your bills and buy essential items instead of your wants. So to try to remove inflated charges, take the necessary steps to get them removed. You can call your provider and try to negotiate with them and remove some of these hidden charges. And if not, tell them that you're looking at a different provider instead, and that usually works. Some of these hidden charges may be add-ons to your current plan, and some of them are just added to increase their revenue. So consistently study your bill, don't just be an online payment person and not study all those little charges. The same thing, if you're having dinner, make sure you look at the receipt and make sure that you're being charged the right way. I often find a lot of mistakes and errors. A simple strategy that you can follow is never to shop without a list. Anytime you go outside to do your grocery shopping, it's always recommended to bring a shopping list and now it's easier than ever. There are apps out there, you can use your phone all the time, take notes, you don't need a to-do list or a to-buy list, you got it with you readily available. And it's always easier to get swayed by discount traps if you don't have a list and you end up getting unnecessary stuff that you don't even have on the list. Remember, traps are everywhere and sometimes salespeople will chase you around 
to try to get your attention to learn about their new sale item or their new sale when you're only there to window shop. If you bring a list, you'll save more time since you're only there to be very specific with your purchases and you avoid overspending because you don't get things that you don't need. Remember, even the greatest discounts are still a loss to your bank account and your wallet. If you don't really need it, don't really get it. Hey, just to take a quick break, I wanted to share some exciting news with you. We have a free ebook giveaway on money management. If you sign up with the link down below, you'll receive a free PDF copy of my book. And I've compiled all of the best resources on money management, especially for younger people, millennials, who want to become future millionaires. And in this book, I make sure not to upsell you anything because I'm not really selling you anything. You'll get a ton of value. And after you read it, please go ahead and comment and tell me how you liked it because there's absolutely no upsell at all. And before I tell you the last one, if you like the type of content I'm giving you, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. And I'll continue to make content like this every single week. Also, make sure you turn on that notification bell so when I release a video, you're notified. Before you make any purchases, it's advisable that you shop around before you spend. Now you already know what you want. It's according to a list. Even if you go into a store, you can always go on Amazon or Walmart or whoever and check out what price are and is it worth it for you to buy online or in stores or any one of those things. It's so much easier to price compare and you owe it to yourself and your hard earned money. Each shop will try to convince you that they have the best deal to offer, but check out things first and always give some second thoughts. And there's a ton of apps out there to check prices and compare things and decide before you go out to the mall as well. You can check on online stores and read forums and reviews on products to really decide is it something you need. And if you're buying online, don't forget to factor in shipping costs after you've compared the price to the in-store product that you're interested in. And try knowing if they're gonna go into a discount or if you qualify for a discount, veterans, elderly people, uh, disabled people, there's all kinds of things. For example, if you're looking for a jacket, probably wanna look in the summer. If you're looking for a refrigerator, you probably wanna look in May when they're at their lowest. If you can wait, then wait for that product to come. And remember, it's about being specific. And when you shop, try your best to think about the most efficient way for you to avoid hurting your finances too much. You can also choose to rent stuff like tuxedos and dresses and things for parties. And these simple decisions will help you in the long run for your financial goals while you're still able to shop. When you think about what you're spending on, you're giving yourself a different perspective Perspective from all the unnecessary things you've bought and prepared yourself for all those marketing traps. This will help you avoid that guilty feeling of buying something when you realize it's too late and how impractical they are and how you're never going to end up using it. Remember, only buy what you've planned and listed down and don't get swayed by sales and don't end up buying one just to get one you're not going to use or buying in bulk if you're not going to use it all. The key here is to cut off expenses without you noticing it so you don't feel deprived when you shop. Just try your best to avoid your favorite shops for a while. Get your stuff in order. Get your mindset right. And if you want to learn more about how to stop losing money, check out this video here.